all right guys welcome to the channel once again all right we have a lenovo n22 all right i remember i installed a, a windows on this by uh, lenovo okay this is the lenovo that um i changed from the chrome os to a windows os okay all right so you can see the body how clean it is all right today i want to install Linus Smith. Okay. Um, also, I'm going to also show you first on how to um, create your bootable drive, flash drive. All right. On the software you need to use to create your bootable flash drive so that you can run it. All right. Here we want to show you how to download and install Rufus. All right. I already have it on my system. I'm just going to show you how to download it. Okay. You just have to come to chrome if you have chrome on your system or use any browser at all it will download okay you just have to just type download chrome rufus all right i have different accounts here on this let me choose one of these okay okay you have to simply type download and use a small letter okay rufus is going to help you you can use any of the yeah, any of the um, version sorry this is going to help you uh, create a bootable flash drive that is uefi in linux okay this is the only software you have to use to create a uefi when it comes to um, creating for linux okay Remember, I did a video on how to install um, Linux on um, Windows system, and the Windows system was a sixth generation system. Okay, that sixth generation system has set legacy, and if you want to use a Win setup, that's when you want to use a legacy mode. All right, but if you're going for a UEFI mode, all right, you have to use Rufus. Rufus is the software is the, is the right software you have to use to burn in your flash drive okay what you just have to do is after you are done downloading this you have to download this after done downloading it okay this comes with all these packages i think i don't want all these packages now i don't want this i don't want this let me check the other side. I think it downloads. Okay. It has downloaded. All right. I already have Rufus in my system. What you just need, just click here and continue. It will install. Okay. Let me just run the process. Uh, I already have it in my system. It is saying it's already there. Okay. So assume you have a flash drive on your system uh, this is the raw file okay let me look for i'm looking for the the software rufus this arrow it's not here come is not here Rufus. okay gonna wait for it to open up okay now after the loading this is how it's going to show okay what you simply just need to plug in your flash drive click here then you select your os which i have here already you select your 
your Ubuntu or your Linux software. The next video I'm going to do is on Ubuntu. Okay, you support you you put in your Linux Smith here. After that, what you just need to do is ready. You keep on ready and start because when you are plugging your flash it will it will erase all the flash information and put in this linux operating system and what the disadvantage about rufus is that you cannot create a multiple uh, bootable flash drive but while using your win setup this other one you can use you can use for multiple um, set up like the operating system being installed on that uh, um, flash drive all right so that is what you need to know about these two softwares okay their advantage and their disadvantage all right so now let's continue with the video all right so what we have to do now is uh we have already born um create our uh, flash drive okay with reforce so what we have to do is to um plug in our flash drive to the system and um, run our uh, linux operating system okay all right so let's um run that now okay we have to shut down first all right there is the flash drive and we have our our linux smith operating system inside of it okay okay um this linux smith all right the advantage here is that uh, you press escape to get to here first then you choose your flash drive okay all right the advantage of uh, linux smith is that all the drivers works okay now uh, here you press enter to pass to check it to check the the hardware of the system it is compatible then after that it's going to load where you can see where to install i believe i will install linux smith on an, an hp system okay open on an asa all right so here we continue okay mainly it was an asa i did on the video all right can remember it was an asa okay here we we right click to execute okay the process is very simple after this just after you right click it's just a very friendly friendly installations okay after you right click it opens what you need to do again is to just select your the language then i think select um, the region where you're from your name all those personal items details to be put then you're good to go all right so we just wait for it to load okay yeah so it is telling us the language we choose the language english here we choose uh okay, we continue okay and you can choose this it's optional if you want a media i want it all right okay it's it's an application it's just like a, a like a dlc applications in the windows system all right, this needs to be there so that you can play your videos, your audio, um, sound, your music. Sorry, okay. All right, it continues from there. Then, after this, we wait for it, it will install. Okay, then here we choose where, we, where you are. You choose, uh, I'm choosing Nigeria, I'm from Nigeria. Okay, continue. Alright, here you put your password. I'm just choosing one digit number for password. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Alright, for security reasons. Okay, let's continue. Alright. Okay, what you, you can see now is installing. Okay, this process is installing the information uh, from your flash drive to your SSD. Okay, these are all the information that is needed to be stored for the operating system to work effectively. After all this to be done, all right, you in the system you have to restart from this process. After it's done, you have to restart. After restarting, it gets by loot, and when it's booting, it boots to your SSD. And when it boots to your SSD, all the necessary drivers and things will be installed. Okay, your mouse will work 
instantly in your you don't need to get drivers for that you don't need to get drivers for your sound also your sound works perfectly you don't need to get drivers for that you don't also need to get drivers for your uh, display um, drivers you don't need to get that all right that is the good part of linux that's just the advantage of linux over windows when it comes to um, putting a operating system on a new operating system on chromebooks this is just a test run to tell you that yes it works and it works very well i know you'll be asking a question now because it will work with other chromebooks all right yes it works very well in other chromebooks um i think except an arm processor chromebook because an arm processor chromebook is a 64 is a is a 32 bit chromebook it runs on 32 bit uh, processor so which is is not um compatible when you want to um um change the firmware from a chrome firmware to a windows firmware that's where the problem is okay you can't do that after you can't compare that when you can't convert that then you you can install a linux on that uh, chromebook all right but i think i'm still going to do research on that and how to see how to break through that uh, processor let's see if because i've seen um linux operation on 32 bits so just imagine if it has it all right we have restart and you are seeing you are seeing is getting to the desktop all right so now it has got to the desktop all that all things are installed the mouse is working everything is working okay you don't need to install the drivers for it to work okay i was just saying that if we have a linux operation of 32 bit there's going to be a tendency of it working on an arm processor you get but i haven't discovered the method yet so i'm still working on that all right if you have an input on that please you can drop your comment on the comment section also if you have a question you can also drop on the comment section please don't fail to subscribe like and share this video to those that need it to your friends to your loved ones and to the next people that need it the ones to use it all right thank you so much i am so happy to when I discover new things, I, I share to everyone. All right, please. Thank you so much for watching. You can see that um, I'm trying to show you that the Wi-Fi is working. All right. You can see the Wi-Fi is working. You see, that's my phone. It's showing my phone. Okay. You can see it has Bluetooth. You can connect your Bluetooth. All right. You can connect your Bluetooth. Also, the I think the display works also. Yes, let's type. You have to come here and you type display. Okay. When you just plug in, this system is using a HDMI display cord. So you plug in an HDMI display cord, it's going to project. All right. You don't need to go and download drivers just like the way of Windows. All right. That's the sweetest part when it comes to Linux. All right. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.